Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh-huh. Pointers in the paddock, get my piece. Oh, push a P. <laughs> Cop no hair, I'ma fuck my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Check for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Portia Nicole. Welcome back to another vlog. Hey cousins, welcome to the family reunion. And if you're new here, you're welcome to the family too. Right now, I just touched down in Houston, Texas. Okay, I actually came to pick my mom up because she's going back to Colleen this weekend to um to help me finish putting the, the house together and stuff. I was actually supposed to meet my brother halfway, so we was both supposed to drive an hour and a half halfway. But what happened was my y'all know I had been looking for a white furniture or well, a white sofa, whatever. And I was gonna order one offline that I had seen that I liked or whatever, but the space that I got, like, I was going to get the sectional that was, like, straight across the back, like, just one, and then not, like, a full L. It was just, like, the back and, like, the little chase part. But in the house that I am now, you, I kind of need, like, a full L, sort of. Not really a U. I, I could do a U, but I'm not going to do a U. I'm going to probably do a... um I could do a U because I could add a corner. I could add a corner and then come this way too. But what I think I'm going to do is just get the L and come farther out. Because I don't want to get too many pieces. And then when I move, it doesn't fit nowhere else because it's, you know, I'm trying to make it fit in this space that I'm in right now. But who knows? I still might do that. So we're going to go look at the couch um, yeah, we're gonna go look at the couch. We're kind of doing like a turn and burn. Like, you know, it's, I got here this morning. Um, we're gonna leave out this afternoon. So we're gonna drive back. I actually hate driving three hours as long as fuck. And I hate driving, but we're gonna drive. I have on my glasses because I don't know, my eyes was really bothering me when I was in Vail and my contacts was bothering me. Y'all, don't ask me why I ain't got LASIK, PRK, or any of that smile, any of that shit yet. <clears throat> Knowing that it's free in the military, I don't know. Been in 17 years, still ain't got my eyes fixed. I'm blind as a bat. When I say as a bat, I mean if I take these glasses off, I can't read this far in front of me. So, it's not, I, I can't see. Like, right now, well, right now I can read my dashboard, but, like, I, it's blurry, though. So, right now, I have on these old Versace glasses that I used to wear. I actually want to get me some new glasses. I actually want the glasses that Lily be wearing. <coughs> Those blue light glasses from LV. And then <coughs> get my prescription put in them. Because I like how big they are. So, I actually might get those like her. But, like I say. Um, so, as I was saying, is my mom went into... Well, a few weeks ago, we came in here and looked at some. We was like going to different furniture stores in Houston. And I, why did I go this way? Boy, if, it, if this ain't the long way. Yeah, I'm going to exclusive furniture. It's over off 59. I, I just didn't took. I'm on furniture and I'm literally driving furniture straight down like a crazy person. Why didn't I go get on the Beltway and then go 59? I do not know, but whatever. So, we seen the the sofa in here like a few weeks ago. And I was like, okay, I'm going to continue to look around, whatever the case may be. But y'all know, I've been looking for like a white cream couch. Wheat. I don't really want white, white, but like a cream, wheat, taupe type couch, right? For a while. And I decided that I want to actually get one that I can see in person because online is like bugging me. Because I really want to know, like, you know, what it feels like and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Fast forward to right now. I feel like I'm just going to select this couch. I'm not just selecting this couch just because, like, you know, as a, like, just whatever. Just, like, picking with anything. 
I feel like it's the best couch that I have seen. I like the structure of it. It doesn't look too structured and it doesn't look too comfy. Like too lived in. Like the cloud couch looks very lived in. Like you gotta like pop it out like and whatever. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna go with this. Like well when I go in here I'm gonna sit on it again, look at it again, and then see, you know whatever or whatever. So that's what we're on the way to. We also need to go to Bath and Body Works because none of the Bath and Body Works where I stay have the laundry detergent. And um, so I'm going to pick up mahogany teak wood because that's what he wants for his underwears and stuff like that. I don't know. He wants to wash it in mahogany teak wood. So. And we need to go to Target because I purchased all of the stuff that I need for my closet. Um, that I need to put the shelving together for my closet. But the two-door dressers, I can't even see how long they are going. The two-door dressers were out of stock in the Target near me. And that's the only Target that's close to me. It's only one Target in Colleen. It's actually in Harker mm -hmm. Heights. But I think it's one in like Temple or something. But I seen that they was available here. And since I was driving here, I ordered three of those. So I have to go to Target and pick those up. I want to. I, I need to go to Bath and Body Works and pick up that mahogany teak wood laundry detergent and the beads. And that's pretty much it. And then my mom should be off work by then because she doesn't get off to 1.30 or something like that. So it is 11 now. So I have time to, I'm basically be driving all day because I drove here, finna run that exclusive furniture, finna run them other two places and then we have to go to my niece house well my brother's house to get my niece because my mom wants to bring my niece back with us for the weekend how are we going to be building closets and doing all of this stuff i don't know but she's i am fresh off i forgot to tell y'all i am fresh off the veil trip the veil trip was cool it was okay um we did have, we had fun with each other, whatever, you know, experience in Colorado. I do want to go back, but when I go back, I want to go to Aspen. But yeah, we, the Four Seasons, like I was telling y'all, like I don't get the hype of the Four Seasons. Um, it doesn't offer anything. Like, <laughs> like they have like one restaurant, like that's it. It's just, I don't know. So I guess the hype of the four season and why so high and stuff like that i guess it's just based off the name because yeah i don't get the hype of the four season like i've been to like hotels or resorts and stuff that it offers like multiple restaurants you know like the bar is lit or whatever or like if you're by the pool it has like you know maybe a waiter at the pool you know waiter something like that like Baby, you gotta do everything on your own. <laughs> like, I don't get the hype. But it's an exclusive hotel, you know, it's very renowned and it's a very expensive if you wanna, you know, go there on your own. If you go look it up, shit buy eight thousand dollars a weekend. I don't know. But when I was there, I just didn't get the hype to me. The customer service was pretty cool though. Um the staff was pretty cool. They did try to give me a Mercedes a motherfucking one bed in our room. And then we had to be like, no, we had a double or whatever. So, and then they told us, oh, we can roll in a roller in bed. Bitch, do it look like I want to stay in, one of us want to stay in a roll in bed. And then they fixed it. She was like, well, let me get the manager. Why did the manager, why did she have to get the manager to fix the bed when clearly that's what we wanted? That's what we asked for. That's what we should get. But she got the manager and the manager fixed it within like five minutes. I don't know. I guess they just thought, well, yeah, we're going to just offer them a rolling bed and they're going to be okay with that. No. The fuck? Damn near 40 years old. The fuck I look like sleeping on a goddamn rolling bed on some shit. Somebody didn't pay a whole bunch of money for it. That's insane. But yeah, besides that, we had a good time with each other in Vail. Like, we made everything, like, work. We, like, we, you know, like, met new people who was pretty cool and stuff like that. Like I said, we got to hang out with each other and experience different activities and excursions or whatever. Like, you know, some people never snowmobiled before. I never snowmobiled before. I did ski before, but I didn't even get to go skiing. Um, I never, 
you know, uh, uh, snow tube before or whatever. But yeah, so it was real fun. I just thought I would highlight that because I don't know if I did at the end of the last vlog. Shit, I don't know. But anywho, yeah, I'm about to pull up on exclusive furniture and then I'll see y'all in a minute. decided to get the couch yes I have decided to get the couch um, I'm also getting two rugs um, the rugs I forgot to show y'all the rugs that I actually chose they already getting rolled up and I also got a, um, a sideboard or a credenza or whatever y'all want to call it it's good credenza some people call it credenza some people call it a sideboard whatever but i'm gonna use it as an entertainment center under my tv um because i initially wanted an 85 inch tv and everybody knows because a lot of people don't know that when you buy a tv if it says 70 whatever the inch says it's 10 inches smaller than that so if it says 75 inches really a 65 inch as it says 85 inches really a 75 inch if you don't know that go do your research <laughs> that's all i can tell you that they measure tvs diagonally that way and you're measuring your TV this way so when you're measuring your TV this way if it's a 75 inches really 65 this way the 75 is this way so we wanted an 85 inch TV which was really which is really 75 inches this way but I wasn't able to find any pretty sideboards or credenzas that was like 78 or like 80 inches so it would look good so we decided just to um, go down to a 75 inch TV, which technically is 65 inches this way and 75 this way. So the credenza that I found over there, which is not in the store, they said that um, that they have one in that is 70, is 68 inches so we just was like okay we'll just get a 75 inch tv because then that's actually 65 inches right so it's not in the store but i did see a picture of it it is the last one so we're gonna get a, a deal on it being the last one so the thing was like um 1300 for it and he gave it to me for like seven because it was the last one so he was like yeah if you take it we'll give it to you for seven so I was like, let me get it because the whole thing is mirrored or whatever. So, y'all know that I stay three hours away. So, they do up to 50 miles for like $50 or something like that. And I think they go like at to 100 miles for like 100. But I told them that I stay in Killeen, which is three hours away. And once he found out that I was in the military, he made something work. And he's going to bring it all the way to Killeen. Because I thought I was going to have to, like, rent a truck and then come figure, put it on the truck, get it, drive it down there, all that type of stuff. But we don't. They're going to drive it all the way to me. And guess when they're delivering it? Tomorrow. I said, y'all ain't got no other deliveries to make that I'm getting it tomorrow. So while I'm sitting here, I just went and purchased the TV, the TV for the entertainment center. So hopefully everything, like works out and it's cute tomorrow like the couch the rug the credenza and all of that i still have to find a table i was thinking about this little circle table right here because the thing that i bought i don't know if y'all can see it it's like right here but it's like mirror but it's like a smoke mirror so they have a table right here right there 
behind the circle one. That's also the legs are smoked mirror. But I don't like that it's circled. I most definitely want a square table and not a rectangle table. Because, you know, this is a rectangle table. And I just think a square table would look better. So, I'm still trying to decide if I want to add another piece in the couch. Because it's like one, two, three pieces and then it come this way. So, I'm still trying to add, decide if I want another piece in the couch but I'm gonna wait till I actually set up the couch in the house before I determine if I want another um, another piece another piece in there but yeah that's just the update that I'm doing right now she's over there getting my order together because I'm special ordering the pillows because I, hold on let me show y'all the pillows Okay, so those pillows I do not like and I do not like any of the pillows that's in that little pack right there So I'm going to make the pillows the same color as the couch So I'm special ordering the pillows so all the pillows just match the couch and then I will just do like my own decorative pillows But I don't like any of those pillows And I don't like any of the pillows I don't like any of the pillows that's in here. My decor is pretty much black and white and nothing in here. It's like a cute black and white. Oh, this is, this may would have been cute. Oh my God, I should have got, maybe I should have got some this color. Is this for pillows? Sofa sectional, no. This may would have been cute, but it's not the same material, so. So no. But yeah, I thought this was kind of cute, but then I was like, I don't know. This might would have been cute. This one for pillows. Does this do pillows, accent pillow stuff? Yeah, this actually might would have been cute, but yeah. I don't know. This one, I might should have got this. This, this actually looks cute. Let me see. This is cute, but it's too like brown. If it's not possible, like if it's not possible for me to get the pillows as the couch, then I might get this. Just because it's certified twenty. Let's just get me. This is cute, too. I would have got this, but it's not the same color as the couch. It's, like, actually, like, a wheat color, and the couch is these two different colors. So, this part has to, like, grow on me because I kind of didn't want it to be, like, bubbly like this. I wish it was, like, smooth like this. Like, if it was just smooth, I would have liked the couch even more. But they don't have this smooth color in this couch. Is this a sofa? No, these, those are for pillows anyway. Those are for pillows only. I think that's just the material, period. Yeah, let me see. Pillows. Yeah, this is cute. This is also cute. It kind of match. I don't know. I kind of like this, too. I don't know, y'all. But she, it's already too late. She's already ordering it to match the couch. So if I be like, oh, change it. She's gonna probably look at me like I'm crazy. But this is actually kind of cute. Y'all, let me go ask her a question right quick. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, y'all. So after two hours at the funders though, like 11, 12, 1, no, 11, 12, 1, 2. No, after three hours at the funders though, we got the funniger. These people didn't try to play with me about my funniger after I paid for it. But then we 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 came to a little a little conclusion once i get the furniture and shit i'm gonna show y'all like what had happened but anyway so the furniture should be getting delivered tomorrow like they gonna deliver it way to colleen because i was in the military service and they wanted to do something to support the troops they're gonna deliver my furniture all the way to colleen so yeah for a good price you know that particular store for a good price Anywho, um, I didn't went to Bath and Body Works and got the and then got the um the fabric stuff. 
the mahogany wood. And yeah, I also been to Target already too. And the rugs that I ordered are also in the trunk. So yeah. Right now we're picking up a candle window, candle spindle from my brother's house so we can get her in the car so we can get on this three hour and 30 minute ride, okay? I don't know. I wish I knew what my iPad holder was because I would have put the iPad up so she could have just watched it from here, but hopefully she go to sleep because my mama think that we can do everything we want to do in the house and take care of a one-year-old. Y'all in the Benzo on 20-inch Lorenzo, huh? You look nice today, sis. Thank you. I'm putting a trunk. You ain't gonna do nothing, go. Uh, put a suitcase right here. See, can you turn it the other way? Mama, turn that suitcase straight. Turn it up. Yeah. Bring her one of our little cars, but ain't nowhere to put it, huh? Put it on top of here. Yeah, if it fit right there. It really would, but we should have, I should have rearranged that stuff in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, we about to get ready to get on the road. We waiting on my brother to come back outside to bring us something. I didn't even get to go to Pie Burns and get my bacon with the rind on it so I could take it to my house. Mm -hmm. Hurry up! I need to go back to the house. Right, and I need to go to Pie Burns. Oh, okay. Get my bacon with the rind on it. Well, we we twenty minutes. You get ten, I get ten. I don't need ten. Well, give me fifteen. But how many pacifiers you brought? She don't even need no pacifier. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. My leg still ain't healed up all oh, the way. Okay. But yeah, she got that. So, do y'all got bottles? We don't know what all Did y'all pack me? bottles? Hold on real quick. You're going to need the bottles. Hold on, hold on. Matter of fact, let me make y'all want to take. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy uh -oh. Friday. We're up, we're back at the house that go Kendall Wendell. We're actually, y'all know I went to Houston and got my mom and got Kendall because we was looking at couches and stuff. So the couch actually gets delivered today between, um, they said eight and 11. So it's nine o'clock right now. So they probably on the road, honestly. Um, they had to bring it like three hours. So we're actually waiting on, uh-oh. We're, so we're waiting on the couch. So right now we're just like going through the house. We laid the rug down. This is the the rug. It looks cute with the pictures that's going to go. I have some pillows already over there. We're going to see how it looks with the couch. And then that will be determined like what, what we're going to do, what, what, what it is we're going to do. But right now we're just going through the house and putting stuff in place like we got another rug for under my bed. We're going to try to uh, put that under the bed. We're going to see how that work out. <laughs> of us trying to put it under the bed. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, little kitty cats. Yeah, cousins. Let's go see what we can do. Yeah, so here is one of the rugs that I got from exclusive furniture yesterday we actually brought these home in the car so they actually rolled them up and put them in the back of the car with us hold on look at ghost trying to get in the house come on come on come on push the door push it come on come on come on push the door come on yeah so this is the rug it actually fits pretty good in here um, we're going to put 
I'm going to either put a bench in the front or if not a bench, I'm going to put two chairs. I haven't decided yet. So the nightstands will go in front. I don't know if I told y'all, but my actual nightstands that match my dresser actually do not fit on each side of the bed. So I actually got these little bitty nightstands from Target. And they're just to be here while we stay here because like I said, my actual nightstands that go in here does not fit. My actual nightstands that go with the bed, they're very, very wide. So since they don't fit, cause this room is long, but not wide, I just got those. And then I'm going to get, I got these handles to put on them. Um, I'ma show y'all, this is actually the other one. It's haven't been put together yet, but are the handles that I got to go on the front of the dresser, but I'm just trying to decide if I like them. So yeah, I'm trying to decide if this will be cute on the front of there or not or should i get one that isn't so wide i'm not sure it's just for here i'm going to put decorations on it like down there and there to bring it out a little bit but they're just here because like i said my actuals don't fit all right yeah so i'm actually dropping off the couch to the goodwill right now while well, i'm dropping off one of the couches to the goodwill i actually kept one of them in like one of the little rooms i don't know I don't know i just kept one for right now like the smaller one but i'm dropping off the bigger one do this one take sofas okay i didn't see sofas on the thing okay got one with you yeah okay. i stuffed it in here oh, okay. So I gave them part of the couch. I gave them part of the couch. They can do whatever they want with it. It was either that or the trash can. Cause I don't know what no buildings at or none of that shit. I can't even see. But anyway, I'm about to go get my niece some chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I should've got me some Starbucks, but. She got Ritz crackers out back there. But yeah. So I dropped that off. I'm still waiting on the people to deliver the furniture. Earlier I told you that they was delivering it between 8 and 4. But it wasn't. It was 11 and 4. So they haven't called yet. They still had like 4 more hours. They were driving from. See that's why your ass. That's why your car didn't up right now. Doing shit like that. That's why your shit crashed in in the front. But, um, but yeah, so I'm about to get her some chicken nuggets right quick, and then I'm gonna go back to the house. About to order her some McDonald's, some Mickey D's, a big, yeah, McDarrell, <laughs> whatever that shit was, and then I'll see y'all when I get back home. Yeah. Yo, this furniture look huge. <laughs> Funnage look huge. <sighs> I'm getting a new couch, finally. Y'all, I haven't had a new couch in like 50 years. I had that 50 day couch so long because I never could just really find me a couch that I like. So I finally have found me a couch that I like. So I finally got me a couch. Oh, boy, you looking like you like what you see. Got me a new couch! Yay! Y'all, so like here is the couch. Here's the rug, the other rug that I had got right here. Um, They actually gave me this rug for free, you know, <laughs> yeah, free. But he said it was free, but I'm pretty sure I paid for it somewhere in there. But he actually gave me this rug for free. And I don't know if I actually like the rug. I guess it just depends on what kind of table I get because if the table is white or whatever then yes but then at the table it's black then i don't know but for right now here is the 
rug and then here's the sofa so it's pretty cute um y'all know my dad put those up when when the other couch was here so they actually kind of too high they need to be no more than five to six inches above your couch so they do need to come down and we do need to find another one but it is still a lot of room over to the table so even if i i could bring the couch over but then that just means it will be a lot of space back here then i could do a sofa table back here but for some reason i think i want to add another piece now i know i was debating whether i wanted another piece or not but i think i do want another piece i don't know y'all let me know should i add another piece or should i not i know really i don't know I don't know y'all <laughs> but this is what we have so far i the pillows did come on it but y'all know i told y'all earlier that i'm not using those pillows i did order some pillows the same color as the couch but they're not here because they had to be custom made but i did show y'all those black and white pillows that i had ordered from amazon so i'm going to put those on there so hold on Me and mom is back home from going to the stores today and not finding nothing. Okay, I think we got like two little vases or something. I don't know. But right now we're putting together my closet shelving or whatever. We have one, two, three, four, five of them together already. We're about to do the last two because I had seven. I just bought seven. That's what they had in the store and... I just decided that I would start with seven because if anything, if any other ones can fit in there, it's only like one more. So that'd be easy to put together. So we're just finishing putting these together and yeah. See y'all when we done. No, because it ain't that fast. Because I want you to be very careful. I am going to Because be I don't want you to bust I through know, the back. I know. I like, can mine. Yes. Because okay. you're going to be able to see it. I can see. In the oh, front. You turn the light off. <clears throat> see, I didn't have much light in my uh, <laughs> thing. I feel, like, I feel like we should go put the backs on. Cause Golly. That's a lot of light. That light bright. <laughs> so, we go stretching like he... You want to put the bed on? I put by one on. Okay, let's do one. One and one. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. Me and mom is on the new couch. It's all covered up. <laughs> but, um, good morning. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. We're up. It's 0803. And 
We're just trying to figure out what we're going to do today. As y'all know, in the area that I stay in, Fort Hood, we don't really have no stores out here. Like, it's very country. We got no home goods, no TJ Maxx, no Marshalls. We just have Ross. Three Rosses and two Burlington's. And one Target. And one Target. <laughs> and like five Walmarts. But well, three super, we had three super Walmarts and two neighborhood Walmarts. Insane. Actually, two, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, yeah, three super Walmarts and two neighborhood Walmarts, so we have five. But, like oh, man, JCPenney's looks like a resale shop, like a five sale. I thought I was in, um, in Dillis, too, so we don't really have anything out here. So me and mom was like, maybe we'll drive to Austin. Like Cedar Park, it's a little bit before Austin. That's only like 50 minutes away. So it kind of reminded me of like driving to Chicago. Like when I used to drive to Chicago from my old house. So we probably go there because we seen that they had at home. They had a Home Goods. They had a TJ Maxx. Stuff like that. So we probably go there today. Those stores open at 930. So we're probably going to get up right now and... I think we're going to unbox the TV and just set the TV on the thing until we get somebody to put it up. Um, when I ordered the TV from Walmart, you can get Walmart to put it up. Like, they hire people to put it up, and it's only, like, $70. But um, those people couldn't come until Wednesday. And then I thought about it that, oh, I'm going to pay $70 for them just to put up a TV when I could just go on the app or another app and hire people to put up the TV and some other stuff that I need to do. So I don't have to just keep ordering people. Just find somebody to do all the things you want them to do. So I canceled that. And eventually I will hire someone to. Because I want to put this TV up and I want to put two mirrors on the wall. Possibly three if I can. I'm not sure. If I can put this other mirror on the wall. I'm sure it's a stud right there, but I'm not sure. Because that mirror is super, super, super heavy. But I kind of don't want it on the floor right there. Because that door opens. But anyway, we'll figure it out. But today we do have a list of stuff that we want to find. It's kind of dark. Oh, that's more light. We do have a list of stuff that we want to find. I've been writing it down in my on my phone. And I need them to put this third picture up. I wish my dad would just would have put it up. But to be honest, if my dad would have put it up, it wouldn't have been right here. For some reason, I feel like we would have stuck it over there. And it would have been in the wrong spot. But yeah, I want to put them up and I want to bring them down some. Because I kind of want to put those little, you know, those little lights over them. I think that would be cute. But yeah, we want to find some curtains for in here. And we want to find a plant to go right there. Because Mama said that Earl is ugly. And Earl's not ugly. But he's just too short. He's a short man. And he needs to be, he needs a little height on him. Don't look at Earl like that. No, that's Carl. That's not Earl, y'all. That's Carl. Earl is in the office. Don't talk about Carl. Girl, you need to put Carl in the dumpster. What's wrong with Carl? Y'all know my plant. That plant is pretty. Yeah, Look that at plant that. is doing the white tootsie. Yeah, he is doing the white tootsie, but he not ugly. And then me and Ghost is on the couch, too. So Ghost is on the new couch. Get off my couch. Until you pee on it. Ghost, are you going to pee on my couch? Are you going to pee on my couch? Come here. Are you going to pee on my couch? Ghost, I'm going to tell the people what you did to Kendall. Ghost big Kendall. So, uh, I'm telling y'all. Y'all think Ghost is nice. Ghost is not nice. And I think it's because he's never been around dogs. He's never... I know you... F boy! <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. That's what I wanted to say. Well, he got back on the blanket. Um, on his blanket. Uh, 
So yeah, Ghost is not nice. Nice. Ghost is he never been around kids and people like that. Like he is a lonely dog. So he's a lonely punk. Mama called him a punk. He's alone, so he doesn't really know. But he did try to tolerate her for as long as possible. <laughs> but she keeps messing with him because she's just a baby. She doesn't know. She just wants to play with him and rub on him and do stuff like that. But she likes to play with his mouth and do him like this. And he's like, stop, stop, stop. And we should be watching him and her when they together, but we don't. <laughs> so, but he snapped her little finger. And then she cried. And then about a, 40 minutes later, so I locked him up, and she goes over there and unzips him and gets him back out. I said, girl, didn't he bite you? But leave him alone. <laughs> but, yeah, he just doesn't. He doesn't know. He didn't grow up around, people, like, babies to know, like, oh, this is a baby or a person. Because he bites Eugene, so. <laughs> so. Yeah, he just don't know. Go see. You, 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 big Kendall. Are you sad about it? Yeah. See, he's sad about it. But yeah, we're about to go get the TV from the garage. And we're going to attempt <laughs> to bring the TV in the house. Because let me tell y'all something. I, I don't know what me and my mom was thinking yesterday, y'all. So we literally knew we had to go pick the TV up from Walmart, right? Now, remind you, that morning, I loaded up the sofa and well, we loaded up the sofa, but in the car, and we dropped it off at the Goodwill. Well, I dropped it off at the Goodwill and then came back home. Why didn't I go get the TV from Walmart before I came back home? I don't know. But I come back home, so we put Kendall in her car seat, me and my mom get in the car, and then we like, oh, we finna go to Walmart and go get the TV. Child, that TV didn't fit in that car with a car seat and a baby. So then I had to leave my mama <laughs> at Walmart with Kendall and why the people put the TV in the car. And then some random lady, some some random white YT lady was like, oh, because she being all nosy in my business. And she seen me take the car seat from the car and then set Kendall in the front. But I was just sitting Kendo in the front in the passenger seat while we was loading it up. And she was like, she come and knock on my window like, oh, do you want? She was like, oh, I could either take the TV to your house for you or the other lady and the baby can sit over here while we take the TV or whatever. She was like, I'm not crazy. Like, I'm in the military, too. I'm just, I had to get help with my TV, too. I just want to help y'all so the baby can sit in their car seat. And I was like, oh. That's okay, thank you, but they're not going to ride back. I'm going to, I didn't say I was going to leave them at the Walmart. I said my brother was going to come get her. That's what I said. I was like, oh, my brother's going to come get her. And then she was like, oh, okay. Y'all, I'm pretty sure that lady waited in that parking lot to see what I was going to do with that baby. Because I seen a white truck that was just parked over there. And it looked like the same white truck that was talking to me. And then when I gave Kendall to my mom, and they went back in the stove. Then I seen the white truck pull off. I think that was that lady trying to see was we going to drive off with Kendall, not in a car seat. Yeah. Is she crazy? I thought she was crazy. Did she know? must did. So I, Kendall went in a, they went in the Walmart with my mom until I came back. The, 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 the thing of this story is, child, the people who put the box in the car, they like was a little kind of slow because they was trying to slide the TV. Well, I'm not going to call them slow. That's wrong. Okay, they was trying to slide the TV in the back of the car, like just slide it laying down. And I kept saying, oh, that's not going to work like that. And they was like, oh, yeah, we be putting these TVs in. No, actually, what the man said, he was like, this shit look like it's going to fit. We put this shit type of shit in the car all the time. My mama said, what? <laughs> I said, you heard what he said. <laughs> you heard what he said. So, um... Yeah, so they were just sliding the TV in the oh, car. Said, Man, we're going to get the TV. We're going to get the TV. I went inside of Walmart. Oh, yeah, Mama went inside Walmart. So when they came back, they was trying to lay the TV down and just slide it in there. And I was like, y'all got to put it catacorn, like turn, like diagonal, turn it to the side. And they was like, we put these TV, we fit these TV, and they still trying to slide it. At this point, they bending up the TV box and tearing up the back of my car. <laughs> 
I said, yo, 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 put the TV sideways. One of the dudes then got in the back of the car. He trying to pull the TV box in. I said, child, turn the TV sideways. So they turn the TV sideways. I let the back down a little. It don't close. So when I get to the house to try to pull the TV out, y'all, I can't get the TV out the back. They didn't stuffed it in there. I had to go get inside the car to push the TV out. So then by the time I pushed the TV out, I was trying to drag the TV in the garage. And I was like, this TV heavy. <laughs> y'all, that TV is heavy. Like mm -hmm. They normally not that, that TV. But we ain't never just really picked up a 75-inch TV box either. I haven't. I ain't never had TV that big. I think the biggest TV that we have is that 60. Say what your name is. Oh, yeah, that bitch, your girl. Tell me where you headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes that look like you give your boy here a good old time, and I'm on it, girl. That's right, I'm on it, girl. See, this is the first time I had a girl whose look set me on fire. I'm really trying to get to know you better, girl. You ain't gotta act like you're shy. Cause we gon' do something. Something is gon' get done. And we gon' get driving and we seen this church that said drive through prayer so we finna go you look mama they really praying look oh. y'all they're really praying i don't want to show y'all they are praying but they you sure? show them they oh wait y'all can't People see actually coming i don't even know i don't know if y'all if y'all can see them right there right here they're praying like right here but i don't know which way to go this might be a church you can go to it might so you know you're looking for a church house. I know. I, I have to see. I don't really do nothing. Not nothing, nothing wrong with white folks' church, but I don't really do white folks' church. Hi. Good morning. How are you guys? I'm fine. I'm fine. fine. We've seen your son. Yes. Hi. So what's, your, what's your name? Portia. I just Portia. moved here. Okay. What's her name? That's Trina. my mom. Her name's okay. Trina. Trina. Okay. We are just praying for people. Okay. What Everyone would you needs like? a little prayer. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We can't do nothing, but God can. Right. Right. Anything specific? Um, no. Like I said, I just moved here from Chicago. I'm in the army, so I just got oh. stationed in um, uh, Fort Hood, whatever they changed it to. You're right. But yeah. Right. No First off, have you found you a good church yet? No, I just this is like my second week here. Is that's my mom just said? She was like, maybe you can go to this church because oh. my church is in Houston, Texas, so I normally yeah, only gotcha. go when I go home. Yeah, I get some stuff. Um, it's. Bible believing. Okay. Yeah, there it's about 300 people, I think. Uh, on average, I guess. Okay. Sunday night's about 100, 150. Okay. Very good church. I, we usually tell people, like, try it out for like a month. Uh huh. And if you don't like it, about any church, I would say try it out for a month because just one sermon's not going to mm -hmm. really right. tell you anything, right? Right. You, you want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. People are people, and church is a church. Right. Right. Thank you so much. God brought Thank you by for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's pray. Most kind, beloved Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, dear God, for uh, Lord giving up for you here, courage, dear God, to come up the up the driveway, dear God. You sent her here for a reason, Lord, that her spirit, Lord, moved within her, dear God, the Lord, that uh, will preach the Bible, Lord, in spirit and in truth, dear God. We pray, Lord, that uh, that you would lead her and guide her, dear God, in the army, Lord, that you would always keep her safe, dear God, that you would always uh, protect her and that you would surround her, dear God, with good people, Lord, that. Uh, Lord, we don't know her, Lord, but it seems, Lord, like she knows you today, dear God, and that you would uh, uh, lead her and guide her, dear God, we pray, Lord, that you would love her, Lord, that you would help her and her family, dear God, that each and every one that's around her, Lord, we 
Uh, Lord, don't know what uh, tomorrow may bring, dear God, but we are thankful, Lord, that we know you and that you hold tomorrow in, its, in your hands, dear God. And we just uh, pray for all things here, dear God. Just uh, finances, Lord, for health, dear God, for strength, Lord, for the uh, troubles and trials, Lord, that we know are coming, dear God. These days, we're, we're here a few days, dear God, and full of trouble. What's up, y'all? Yeah, we have been out shopping all day. Um, we're about like an hour away from. We like an hour away from the house. Yeah, we about an hour away from the house because we needed to come find some home goods. TJ Maxx, Ross Marshall, you know, for the little knickknack. And y'all, when I tell you, I found so much stuff today. Like it was a good, it was a good ride. Like it wasn't like a waste of time. You know, you drive somewhere an hour and you like waste your time. It wasn't. So right now, before we drive back home, we're stopped in BJ's because my mom was talking about they got a, pe a good peach margarita. So if we make it right, so that's what she's gonna get, and then we're gonna drive back home. So yeah, y'all ever ate at BJ's before? I know we, my mom used to bring me here a lot back in the Gap. But yeah, Kendall over there making a mess. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> he said over there, you know, it was cute. Oh. Yeah, mama. And then I got the house of honey mustard. That's hers. Thank you. Hey y'all, we have made it back from the stores. We was gone from like 11, 30 to like, that wasn't 10, 30 mama. It was like eight something <laughs> to like 8.30 at night. So we was gone a pretty good time, but we, um, we made some good purchases while we was gone. So from TJ Maxx, we had got this little black tray I needed this black tray for the master bathroom because it's going to be black, white, and gray. So, it was really supposed to be black and white, but, I mean, black and gray. I don't know. But it's going to be dark colors in there because me and it's dirty. And then, also, from TJ Maxx. I got this candle. This candle was $16.99, but it smelled. Ghost, why you licking that lady? It smells so good. It kind of smelled like a man candle, but it smells good. And then also, I got this black thing right here. Right here, this is super cute. This is black egg, egg. Give me that TJ bag. And then I also got this one. You know, I just was looking for different black accents of stuff. And then, yeah, I got this rug. We might not use all of this stuff, but at least that we got it because it's an hour away. <laughs> I got these for the kitchen because y'all know I'm going to end up organizing my refrigerator back like it was. So, a kitchen sink thing for the little stoppers from Home Goods. We got this throw from Home Goods, this black throw. I don't know if y'all wanted to know how much it was. But this little thing was $7.99. That was a good one. And this thing right here, this is actually really heavy. Oh, well. I don't know how much. I think maybe this was the price. This was it right here. It was $16.99. I got this black throw for 
I think I told y'all how much this candle was. It was $16.99. It, 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 it smelled really good, though. <laughs> I got this rug for the kitchen. $16.99. Because even though the kitchen cabinets are brown, even though I wish they was white, I'm still trying to introduce a lot of black and white in there to, like, lighten it up. Now that I think about it, I probably should have got a white rug. No, it's probably going to be too dirty. I don't know. And then this kitchen tray, I mean, this bathroom tray that we're going to put in the bathroom is $14.99. Yeah. Also from Home Goods. This is for goats. It actually got broke when we got here. His dog food holder, it got broke. And I know that Home, home Goods always have these. So he has like the set and they he they always have these and this is what he got from another one of those i also got a lady butt a bigger lady butt so y'all know i have one but it's small this lady butt was 9.99 my mama if if my mama wasn't there i would have got the small black lady butt too i got some towels for the other bathroom the t the bathroom that's going to be black and white and these were $6.99. I just was getting the stuff that I know I would use. You know, I'm not, you know, when you move somewhere and you're trying to decorate, you don't have to be in a rush. You can just like, you know, do stuff as it comes. You don't have to like hurry up and try to do stuff. So that's like what we're going to do. Oh, I also got that vase. You see that vase right there? I got that from at home and it was $100. Okay, I also got this little piece from Ross. It was $9.99. So that's really cute. I got another lady. Oh, oh this is a man. So Ross, that's your big husky woman. <laughs> <laughs> a big husky woman. You didn't see that. Right? Make sure anyone know receipts in them bag? I don't know. Also, we got a rug, and this is for that bathroom, that, that master bathroom that's going to be black, white, and gray. We got, we was trying to find curtains yesterday that was like, we needed living room curtains and bedroom curtains, but this these ceilings in this, this house is really high. They're like, I think my dad said nine feet ceilings or whatever, so... We need the, the curtains to be at least 102 um, inches because we go all the way up to the ceiling. So we were only able to find some bedroom ones. So these are cute for the bedroom. These was $39.99 each. We got two of them. And then, and then I got this white rug for my bathroom and it's very soft and plush and stuff i hope that it washes good just like the one the white ones that i have in there this was 21.99 and it's like a runner because the bathrooms are long and then these sticks were at at home for 2.99 and we're gonna see how they look in that black vase right there so they were very cheap, so probably easy to break or whatever to break them if we need to. So put them in there. So that one out. And then from CJ Maxx, I got these purses. Little um, Balenciaga. No, not Balenciaga. Bottega dupes. This is really cute. I didn't have a blue purse this color. I like this really because in the store it looked it lighter than this. Like it was going to be like almost purple. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a really, really cute blue purse. They didn't have one. No, they was in the other stores. We went to, the other ones I kept going in. Mm -hmm. Remember when I called you, I said, the one you didn't go in, I said, oh, mama, they only got the same colors we already have, blue and pink peach. Oh. And that's when I had got the peach one. Oh. So, yeah, and then they have the peach one and then... Oh. I like it. I like it. I put that one to them laughing. This one is 20 These were $29.99. So these were just $30 or whatever. 
And then I also like this one. These are very, um, they're very heavy. They're very good quality and material. Like they're really good material and quality. This one is $39.99. And these are only colors that we've seen. But I do see, I've seen online that these came in like brown, black, lime green. If y'all ever in the store and y'all see a lime green one, let your girl know, okay? And then these also came in white, black, brown, uh, purple, red. And the red one is the one that I'm looking for. Like, I want that red one so bad. So, if y'all see it, let your girl know. I don't know if I showed y'all my outfit that I had on. It's, it's dirty now. <laughs> but, just in case I didn't show y'all, my Target cream pants and i need to see do they have some more because i love i love these um i love how they fit or whatever and then this amazon sweatshirt i have this amazon sweatshirt it's like a sweatshirt in the front but it's a party in the back it's open in the back it ties but yeah these was cute and i had them on with my uh with my Hermes slides that I got for Christmas. I'm just wearing these right now for the first time. Really comfortable. So, I think that's it. I think that's all I have for you. We about to go to sleep. So, to tomorrow, later. Okay, y'all, what's up? Good morning, happy I don't know what today is, but anyway, but yeah, y'all, I am today. Um, my mom actually goes back. Her and Kendall actually goes back to Houston today. So I'll be meeting my brother in the middle to, um, to take them back. Y'all, I have been doing so much stuff since I was on here. I have, um, popped my nails off and everything. Cause I'm gonna go to the nail shop when I, um, when I come back, but, um, I just wanted to get on here and be like, y'all, this was a jam packed weekend. We had so much fun. We just shopped and bought stuff for the house and put stuff in order. Baby, I got me a whole of a spray paint can, some matte black spray paint. Child, let me tell you something. I've been spray painting so much stuff. I got to show y'all the stuff that. I was spray painting because I spray painted so much stuff. And the spray paint kept getting under my nail because, like, my nails was long. So, I just had to take them off. But um, I needed to take them off anyway because I'm going back to work. And y'all know my nails need to be um, short anyway. So, I needed to take them off anyway. But, yeah, I'm going to probably get up, wash some sheets. And put them in the dryer so that can be that stuff can be done by the time I get back home. And then show y'all some of the stuff that I um spray painted. And then yeah, we're gonna get out of here so I can drop them off to my brother and then I can make my way back home because I do need to start getting ready for my work week. It's about to be my first day at work. So yeah, it's time to get prepared for that so yeah okay y'all so i'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that i went crazy spray painting so i spray painted this and i only spray painted the little black discs they were gold at first so i spray painted them black um i'm thinking about spray painting the the browns white but then they kind of match with the brown cabinets but y'all know i don't like the brown cabinet so I kind of want to spray paint the brown ones white because when I redo my bar cart, my car, bar cart, because right now y'all know I got all kind of stuff on my bar cart, just all the, the the liquor bottles that I collect. But now I'm about to like make my bar cart look where it's only um, white and black stuff on the bar cart. So yeah, that. Um, I also spray painted this spoon. Y'all know that it was silver. I spray painted it silver at the last house. It originally was wooden, but I spray painted silver. Now I spray painted it black. Um, I end up using that wooden, black wooden tray 
um, in the kitchen because it was too big to go in the bathroom. So it was too big to fit in the middle of the bathroom. So I have to find something else to go there. So I did that there. What else? Um, what else did I get from the store yesterday? This rug. It's the kitchen rug. It kind of does fit perfectly there. I do wish it was a little bit longer to like fit the whole thing. But for now, I think that it will suffice. Here's the bathroom rug that I had got. So it fits perfectly right there in front of the bathroom um, counters right there. So that turned out good too. I also spray painted this vase black. If y'all seen it earlier on in the video, it was gold. It actually has been gold for years. I got this from, it looked like I got this from Ross. That looks like a Ross. Yeah, this is a Ross ticket and it says $15.99. I've had this vase for about, since like 2017. So yeah, and it's been gold the whole time. So I finally painted it silver. I mean, I finally painted it black and it's gonna go on the ottoman. So I got this to go on the ottoman. I have this little lock thing to go on the ottoman which this has been on the ottoman even when it was like gold and white and tan. Okay, this is on the ottoman. This has actually been on the ottoman except the balls in here was not white and was not black, white, and silver. They were like white, tan. That was white, tan, and different other colors. Some of these can actually come out of here. But... I just got them all sitting in there. I got these two coasters on there. I actually had these coasters on this countertop, but it was so many of them that I took two of them off. And then I have this book that says The Art of a Home, and basically The Art of a Home here. So this is cute. And then it's gonna go on top of this tray table that I got from Home Goods for, it says $22, but this was also back in like 20. I've had it for a very long time. I'm just going to decorate this in one second. And before I forget to show y'all, I still been moving stuff around on this um, table. I'm actually about to remove those things and I'm gonna put a tall vase here and some tall stuff over on that side. So it'll be more height up here, but I did get these tools and I think they're cute. So my question is, okay, should I slide both of them together on this side and then put like a basket right there or should I put a basket in the middle or should I just slide both of them together? Let me see. Okay. Should I put both of them right there and then then what I do there? Or should I get three of these or should I leave them open, put a basket in the middle? What do y'all think? What y'all think we should put back there? Also, I can just leave them in the middle like that and don't put anything in. And then another thing, I'm also thinking about moving this <laughs> and moving this into my office and putting it under the TV in the office and then finding something longer to go right there. Cause I kind of wanted it to be longer, but y'all know I already had this. So I was trying not to buy nothing, but I think I want it to be longer. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Uh, my mom and Kendall is about to get up now so they can get ready to start getting their things together so I can actually drive them home. So this will actually be the end of this vlog. I will see y'all.
And the next one, because next week starts my first day at work. Bye. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Push P. Yeah. Push P. Turn me up. Turn me up.